GoPro's working, Eric. This stupid thing has been giving me a lot of fits, dude. I'm gonna end up getting a new one. As soon as I actually. Yeah. Yeah, for all the YouTube videos I don't do. And if I had some decent equipment. I just made a video last month. Anyway. Huh? Oh, this sucker. Look at this sucker. This is in line. Get a little, little Flake City treatment. Huh? Pretty sweet truck, actually. Shaved handles. I like the steering wheel. The steering wheel is nice. Wood grain gripping. Got it, I mean. What'd you say? You got some golds. So the, the wiring in here, a little sketchy. So pulling it all out and starting fresh. Upgrading the solenoids. Putting a new switch box in it. And Rob, if you see this before I talk to you about this, I'd like to see if you'd allow me to build a battery rack back here and put the pumps and the batteries back here because um, I've had an S10 before that had all the batteries up here, you remember it, and it bent the frame because it's, it's a lot of weight behind the rear axle on the S10. And if you're not hopping it, you really don't need all the weight back there. So I would put the batteries up here to help kind of even out the weight and save your frame. Plus, I think it'll look cleaner. I got an idea to make this look pretty clean back here. Put the batteries back here, the pumps, and then over in this area, build a, a wall right here, and then kind of finish all this off. So that way at car shows and stuff, you could roll up your tonneau cover and then have a nice finished area where you could put like, you know, rags and detail equipment and stuff. That way you don't have to open it all up. Um, and then you can kind of keep everything because oil and hydraulics are always kind of dirty so keep them separate but yeah i'm gonna be painting this little thing green zombie green yeah so for that eric should i show him the deal the deal for the, for the paint job on that we did a little trading okay hear me out Bam. Look at that majestic scene right there. Look at that. Doesn't it, isn't it just calming? God bless America under this It says God, yeah, it does say God bless America, doesn't it? So yeah, we're doing a little, little wheeling, a little dealing for the paint job on the S10 for this. Sucker runs good, needs a little work on the inside. Um, and I drove it for the first time yesterday and how how many miles do you think we made it two miles yeah two to three two to three miles the whole roof blew off <laughs> so it's gonna need a little roof repair yeah our uh we actually had this crazy idea we were gonna take this thing to the vegas super show because i mean how comfy would this be Just, you know You know what I'm saying? They'd just be super comfy. Yeah, okay, needs a little work. Needs a little work. So, yeah, we had the, uh, I'm getting dripped on from something. Yeah, there we go. Got a little water coming in there. Um, yeah, so we tried to drive it um, yesterday. When we got up to about 45, 50, um, it has a, like a rubber roof on it. Um, and that, that thing just it left us. It took off on us. So, And then, of course, the, the night that we lose the roof, uh, there's a huge rainstorm. So we got a little drippage, you know. A little water never hurt anybody, but the floor is just a little, a little soggy now. But... Other than that, though, 
it's pretty cool so um yeah i can fix that roof pretty easily uh, i might even do um because it's not the whole roof that fell off it's just like it's just like up to here so just this piece ripped off i might end up doing some uh metal on top of there to seal that off so i definitely it's not going to be no beauty queen but as long as it's halfway dry but we were going to take it to the vegas show and i don't think that's going to happen right now eric for a couple reasons not that i wouldn't take it to the show but what, what was the math we did on that how many gallons of fuel uh 210 gallons of fuel 210 gallons of fuel to take that beast to las vegas which ends up being like 700 dollars in gas each way each way 700 bucks in gas each way so so we're starting a gofundme page for uh vegas no, so that, that's just too much in fuel, just flat out. I mean, we could fly basically first class. Basically. Yeah, there and back, instead of riding first class, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so I think we might just end up renting a car, but you're still planning on going? Huh? That was the wife of Casey. Yeah. She said it was okay, right? In other words, yes. See, he's hesitating. It was a, you won't be kicked out when you get back. Well, that's all you need so we're still in talks but we might be renting a car and driving out to vegas for the super show september 1st uh but i don't think we're taking old girl there take that one i was thinking that for the same life i don't know what a, a 96 chevy bus gets for gas it's mileage be it's got to be better Double. than an rv Double. all right you're talking crazy. You're talking crazy.